And this is actually really, really close to being in my top three happy lands. And it might even be probably my fourth favorite behind my top three. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Faux Du Fafa by Happy Land Fragrances. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't know if that's the correct name. I sprayed it up. There was something about it that I just really wasn't into, but then once this came time for me to review this and really dive deep, I actually really, really enjoyed this fragrance. And what was weird is a, like the little bit of nuances that I didn't like in the beginning kind of went away. This is actually a pretty enjoyable, almost like a crowd pleasing sweet spicy fragrance, which I really do enjoy. So online they say the notes are citruses, spices, woods, amber, rose, vanilla, ambergris, and patchouli. You can see kind of where they're coming from. You got like probably the citruses in the opening, the spicy woods, amber, vanilla. That's kind of like a general sweet spicy fragrance, which I really do enjoy. And then you have a little bit of the patchouli and rose kind of giving it a little bit more complexity and not so simple and straightforward, but I find this to be a pretty likable fragrance overall. I definitely smell spices. I smell vanilla. I could see the woods in the amber, like I said, and there's just a little bit of something extra making it smell just a tad different, and I'm assuming that's the patchouli and the rose. Situations that this is good for, like I think the date, I would say this is good, but not great. In the gym, I would say it's okay. It's passable, but I would, you know, go with some other fragrances over this one because it is a little spicy and sweet and that just usually doesn't go so well for the gym for the office this is okay as well it's not really bad but it's not really the best thing either like for me i like this weird blend of kind of reserved and, and enjoyable but not too out there and i find this to be just really enjoyable and sweet which is not really the best for you know work. All right guys, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it has a likable, sexy, sweet smell. It almost reminded me a little bit of Grand Soir, and if you've ever smelled Grand Soir, I mean, that's probably one of the best amber fragrances out there. That's probably, if I had to pick one amber fragrance, I probably would go with Grand Soir. And I just, for some reason, was getting those vibes every time I sprayed it. There was a coworker, like, way far away from me, like 20 or 30 feet from me, and she commented that she could smell this. And like, oh, you smell so good, I can smell you from here, which is hard. Hard to believe there was heavy wind that day, but I did spray it pretty heavy and I just walked outside my door. So this has a very likable, enjoyable, sweet, spicy smell. And if you understand the, the quality of Happy Land Works, you use pretty much the same kind of quality. And it's also not too oily. Some fragrances nowadays, there's a possibility that they're using some cheap oils. And when they do that, it's kind of like vegetable oily and I don't get any vibes with that here. Very, very high quality. Another pro is that it has really, really good projection. Like I said, I got that compliment way, way far away. Even from when I was testing it, it seems to have above average projection and I really do appreciate that. And there's almost no off-putting vibe on top of having that nice, good projection, which I also really enjoy. And then the last pro is that it's probably good for winter and fall. It's just got that little bit of that sweet, spicy kind of smell. And I don't really have too, too many bad things to say about it. I enjoy it. I've, I've enjoyed Happy Lands. I like sweet, spicy, and this is right down the pipe. Um, and this is actually really, really close to being in my top three Happy Lands. And it might even be probably my fourth favorite behind my top three. All right, guys, let's jump into the cons of this fragrance. The cons, to be honest, I don't have too many. Um, if I were to really dive deep, I would say that it is a tad simple. I'm getting it's just a sweet, spicy fragrance. And then it is a tad mature. But again, this is like a tad, like I would say it's overall more likable than mature. It's, it's got a nice blend of being a little complex, but also a little simple. But I would say that there is a little bit of simplicity here, but I actually kind of like that in this fragrance. So anyways, guys, if I was going to rate this, I would give this an, uh, an 8 to an 8.5 for the smell rating. I really do enjoy it. Likeability, like I was saying before, it is very, very likable. There are a few situations like maybe in the heavy summer because this is Sweet, so you're not going to want to you know use this in any, probably any any sort of high heat situation but if you use this in the right situation i think it's going to smell great it just overall is likable and good and then longevity and projection i'm actually going to bump it up to an 8.5 to a 9 in that range 
it, this was just a really good performer. Every time I was spraying it, I was enjoying it. And I just reviewed the Happy Land Fragrances Shadowland. And I was kind of coming back from a little bit of a sickness where I lost my taste and my smell. So I was kind of worried like, am I rating Shadowland too low because I can't smell 100% yet? But I don't think that was the case because every time that I tested this, it had really good longevity and projection. As I've said in my other video, my top three favorite Happy Land fragrances are Rhyolite. It's very close to this one, but it's kind of like this sweet niche style fragrance, very similar situations. I'd probably edge Rhyolite by a hair, but I also really do like this one. And then Cravat Noir, his tuxedo clone, I really, really, really enjoyed that. I've said it in another video, but I got a comment through a mask with that fragrance. I did get one with Cravat Noir. And then my other last one, probably my favorite is Paisley Sky. If you can imagine a super psychedelic fragrance, but also super sexy at the same time, that's Paisley Sky. And then to be honest, guys, this might be my number four behind those because I really, really do like that. I have to go through the line just to make sure I'm not missing one out there but as I'm going through my head, I probably would prefer this one behind my top three favorite Happy Lands. So this is a very good fragrance in my opinion. Although personally, I don't understand the name. Maybe it resonates more with you. We're on the road of 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.